Sorry about that, folks. This is going to be... Sorry about that, folks. I don't know what this happened. This boom did it to me again. But as I was saying before, that actually happened. Now i got to fill up at least two or three minutes here. Like I said before, sorry about this. This is a take two. Two on this video. This video will also be going down to the YouTube and the Facebook channel. But like I was saying earlier, Capital Midland and Bridgeport at Capital Midland night. Good game there. I'm going to be real interested to see what that score is going to be like. Um, I see Philippi as a uh, possibility of being um, maybe the upset here. You never know. And I also look at um, I also look at Parkersburg. It might be an upset too, but I don't really hold my breath over that. <laughs> Martinsburg, I don't see them having any problems tonight. I see Martinsburg winning big. But like I said before, the reason why this is a take two on this video, I don't know what this happened happened to the first video. But folks, I'm gonna be honest with you. Things have gotten kind of crazy. And like I was saying before, dress up any way that you feel comfortable in dressing up. Now I can make some suggestions, like if you're gonna wear a dress and it's, I'm just doing a spurt. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, folks. I apologize. But like I said, if you were wearing, if you're gonna, if you're, if you're, if you're a person who's gonna wear a dress to say a special event, and it's cold out there, really like ice cold out there, uh, you may want to try um, some sort of hosiery tights, hose, sheer tights, or something like that. Uh, if you're a gentleman, and if you're a person who likes to wear ties a good bit, as you can tell, I don't wear them too often, but I will occasionally, why not try to dress up and look, uh, try to look, try to look somewhat old-fashioned with a sports jacket or something like that, or even an old vest if you got one. That would be kind of cool, too. Like I said, to look this part of the video up, it's the tail end of the football football circus pick show and just a general conversation because that's just how life really is sometimes you know you know as crazy as this world's gotten and as crazy as the elections coming up folks you guys don't like to mix politics too well but in this kind of a case I'm going to in this case when your politics is in the running before you vote in your state primary next year, do yourself a favor. And I'm going to be mentioning this all through this. Go to your house of worship, or even do it in your own home. Because I know a lot of precincts have a house of worship. And surely to God, the um, pastors, are, pastors would open up the um, sanctuaries or... Whatever the case may be, go into a sanctuary and pray before you vote. Pray before you vote. Leave the house. Pray for this country. That this country can get it right. Now, I'm not knocking anybody of your voting status or whatever. But think. Who can do a better job in this country? Think about it. Who can do a better job for you in this country? Football, like I said, uh, I've got a couple games on ESPN tonight and one on Fox Sports. Check those out. One starts at 2100 hours at 9 o'clock. The other one starts at 1030, 2200 hours. That 22.30 at 10.30 is over there on Fox Sports 1. That I do remember. And yeah, pretty much keep it, you know, try to keep it interesting this year. This year. I mean, it doesn't matter how things are going. 
how smooth you think things are going in your life. Like, in, you, in, you, in your life. Well, I'll tell you this much straight up. It's always good every once in a while to sit down and read this. This is a Bible. This is a living Bible. Bible. And um, I think one thing I think I will do do is I'll show since I did bring the Bible into the game <laughs> don't ask why the Lord led me that way but you know hey I'm not going to argue with the way it is uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a one I'm going to do a set Bible verse here we're going to do uh, Psalms um, starting with the 128th verse, 128th Psalm, and we'll go down to the one, starting 121st Psalm, one through, let me look, one through five, 129, one through eight. Psalms 130, 1 through 7, Psalms 131, 1 to 3, and Psalms 132, 1, 1 through 18, Psalms 133, 1 through 1 to 3, I 3 if I can see it right, Psalms 4, 1 through, 1 through 3, Psalms 135, 1 through 21, and Psalm 36, 1 through 21. Here we go. And also, you, you may have caught the Psalm 127.5 in that. You can go ahead and read that if you like as well. That was Psalms 128 through 136. And uh, that, was, that, that was a very, very long song. But I would like to bring up one particular note, note in one of those Psalms. Psalms. And I would like to read it if that's okay. With, I'd like to read it and I'll actually show what I'm talking about. Oh, we'll do Psalms 129, um, verse 8, here for a particular one. And those, and may those pass by refusing the blessing, by saying, Jehovah, bless be upon, we bless you in Jehovah's name. Now I'll read that for a general section of reason here in I'll read that another way, just just as this just as there are no arguments. And may those who pass by and refuse the blind this is coming out of seven. And may those who pass by and refuse a blessing them saying, Lord, bless blessing upon on you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. God. Well, the only reason I said it both ways is because I don't, don't want any, any arguments about discretionary. discretionary. I don't want any, you know anybody discretionary. Since we are doing a Bible verse here, we're going to stick in the same Bible. We're going to do. Um, we're going to do. Uh, 
We're gonna do one more Bible verse, and we might as well go ahead and get this in while we have it online. And uh, we're gonna do um, Psalms 47, starting with the seventh verse, going down to 23. Then so, uh, I'm correcting that Psalms. What am I talking about? Ezekiel will be our next set of verses. Ezekiel, starting with the seventh, you can catch the telling of the six, but we'll begin with the seventh chapter. We'll begin with the seventh verse in the forty seventh chapter of Ezekiel, all the way down to the twenty third. Then we'll do a look at forty eight, one through thirty five. Here we go. Okay, that was Ezekiel 47, starting with the 40, chapter 47, start with the tail end of the 6th verse, beginning of the 7th, all the way down to the 20, 23rd, uh, Ezekiel 1 through 35, um, pretty much traumas there in it, and you know, what's interesting about this whole thing is, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I guess get, 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 guess I want to get a second video in. I'm doing something from the Bible. Folks, it don't matter what you get your Bible from. You get it from the Living Bible. You get it from the Matches. You get it from from the old um, Contemporary English Bible. Whatever floats your boat as far as the Bibles go. Um, sit down and read your Bible. Can never stress this enough. Sit down and read your Bible. Maybe you'll understand it better. If more people understand the Bible better, then more people may have better off than what you think in life. This is Sherry, and I have been tape delayed here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another vehicle accident. Well, folks, I'm waiting this video now so I can go ahead and call that into the news media. It sounds like my night from for vehicle accidents. This is Jerry and I've been taped delayed here at the I've been taped delayed here. Don't forget we'll be taping tomorrow and we'll be taping we taping later on the night and then we'll be taping for Sunday. But for now this is Jerry. Peace. Grease for peace. Aloha. We serve men and women serving around in the world and our branch for your sponsor and our veterans. We love you madly. Peace out. This is for two videos. Peace out for two videos because the one got screwed up. To look this up on Facebook, I mean on YouTube, it would be the scoreboard pick show and utter and talk about other things. We're out of here. Peace out.